Welcome to Monster Party Studio. Today I will be showing you how I make a silicone brush up mold with a stone jacket. So the piece that we're going to be molding today is a sculpture I did a few weeks ago of a Joker as Batman bust inspired by Alan Moore's 1988 graphic novel The Killing Joke in which uh, the Joker and Batman are essentially psychological mere images of each other. It's a Joker origin story. I love it. It's one of my favorites. The whole process, basically what we're going to go through is I'll show you the sculpture once it's finished. We'll prep it for molding. We will brush up a pure silicone. We're going to build layers. The jacket is made from hydrocal in this case and uh, we're going to brush that on as well, build the thickness on that and when that's finished then we'll demold and I'll show you what the mold looks like. Here is my sculpture. It is in wet clay. It's a water clay. Now that I've finished with it I'm going to spray it with crystal clear. I'm going to do several coats. Okay, so I've sprayed the sculpture with two coats of crystal clear. The reason why we use crystal clear is to protect the molding surface from the clay, being that it's water clay. Sometimes water clay reacts differently to different molding mediums. Also, we wanted to protect the surface of the sculpture from getting marred or damaged by brush strokes. So I just released the whole sculpture. I used this mold release right here. All right, I've got some of the materials I will be using today. I already used the crystal clear and the rocket release to release the sculpture. I've got my molding silicone. I have Mold Max Stroke from Smooth On. It's a brushable silicone rubber. Mix ratio is 100A to 10B by weight. This is part A. And then we've got part B and also a silicone thinner that I will be using for the beauty coat. Although this is a brushable silicone, it tends to be a little bit thick and I want to ensure that the silicone goes into all of the detail. I will be mixing this in with the first coat and this mixes 10% by weight of the total A plus B system. So, then I've got my scale. I've got some nitro gloves and some chip brushes and I also have some cups to mix in and my sculpture and some adult eggnog. I'm all set. You should uh, zero out your scale with the cup so it already accounts for the weight of the cup so that it doesn't add it to your material and then your measurements are off. So I have poured out 330 grams. So we're going to add 10% of 330 is 33. So I'm going to go ahead and add the B part, shake it really well, tar out, and then I'm now I'm going to add 33 grams to this. I went a little bit over by a gram. That's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the thinner. And the thinner is 10% of that, so 36 grams. So I'll go ahead and add 36 grams now. I will tar this out. Perfect. 36. Now I'm going to mix it. Mixing it is the most important thing that you can do. If you don't mix it well enough, you will have pockets that are uncured. So the stir stick sucks, by the way. You really want to scrape the sides and you want to scrape the bottom as best as you can. I'll make a pretty long pour because I'm going to try to get some of those air bubbles out in the long pour. This is what Smoothon had to say about this particular product. It says on their website, working time is 20 minutes. That is the amount of time that you have for mixing the product and applying the product before it starts to gel. Reco time is 45 minutes. So I have 45 minutes until I can apply the next layer. The silicone will do reach a full cure at 16 hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some uh, cheesecloth. When you put burlap into stone to reinforce it and give it strength, cheesecloth acts in, the, in a, a very similar way in the silicone to reinforce it and to give it strength. Jack 
bucket or the mother mold. And I'm gonna need some water to mix in my stone. I've got my respirator in a bag because I don't want the filters to wear out. Some gloves, they don't match, and some burlap to reinforce the stone. And some hydrocal white. clay okay so I pulled out all of the clay out of the mold which took forever and it sucked so much in fact that that right there that little red spot is my blood and that spot that's all blood from my knuckles now I have to clean up the mold I will wash it with some water Oh, also, I used a Sureform. This is a Sureform tool right here. It's a little rasp with a handle. You can get this at any hardware store. And I cleaned up the edges on the, the stone jacket. You can pull out the mold. And it seats right in there. Thank you for watching this. If you're interested in seeing a video on casting this mold, I will have one up after the holiday. Also, I try to put up videos every week or so, and I'm going with Fridays, I think. Uh, I'll have a list of all the products that I use below and the link to all the websites. Yeah, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>